guys, it is a new month, so that means a new spread. And this month, I wanted to stick with a really minimalistic, kind of functional spread. I noticed that I function better and have more productivity when I just have a simplistic spread. So I decided to stick with a gray, kind of circle, minimalistic kind of look. Here comes Penny, as usual, every time I sit down and journal and or plan, she wants to take a nap. So for the cover page, I just included the month in a small little calendar with the days of the month. Now, I didn't like last month's monthly spread, so I decided to include a calendar. It works for me. I get to see an overview of where my videos need to go. I'm more of a visual person, so I decided to just include what works for me. Why change it up? So it's a simple month of July. I messed up a little so I'm using a jelly white roll although later I go in with some actual white out because the jelly white roll was too sheer. And then at first I started going in with the Muji pen but didn't like the thickness so I went back with a 0.25 millimeter pen and wrote down the days of the week. Here I am using the white out to cover up that pen mark. And then I'm going back accentuating the down strokes to have more of a calligraphy effect. And I'm writing in the days of the week for the month. Again, I'm sticking with the same circular kind of theme going on at the bottom. And here I made two sections for important dates and ideas that I may have throughout the month. And like my last month's spread, I had a section for books, TV shows, and movies. And I wanted to include that again this month because I really liked it and I used it a lot. And it's just a nice way to have everything that I've consumed throughout the month in one centralized place. And then I'm using these basic stickers again to just have an accent of gray. Now my weekly spread is heavily inspired by Covet D on here and I did link her video down below in case you guys want to see where I got this idea from. I tailored it more to my needs. So on the top, I included three habits that I really want to track throughout the month, and then on the right, I'm including my filming process, like filming, editing, thumbnail, and upload, and then as I complete the task, I cross out that task. And then on the left, I have seven boxes for the habits that I want to track throughout the week. And at the bottom, I included a little box for next week's things that I need to remind myself to include. I decided to add a drop shadow to the habit tracker, the filming task area, and the next week, I think it adds a little more pizzazz, gives it a little more dimension.
And now I'm writing down my three habits that I want to track. I want to read, write, and work out. And I'm going back in, accentuating the downstrokes again to have a more calligraphy kind of effect. Now I'm writing in the days of the week in a script font. I did include the last two days of June in this spread because I just had the space and I didn't feel like making a spread with just for two days in last month. So I included them in this month's weekly spread. And then I go back in with the gray mile liner and just add a drop shadow to the numbers and little circles. And then I went back and felt like the monthly page was kind of bland so I accentuated each number with a circle and accented the days of the week with a gray. So I hope you enjoyed this monthly setup and that your July is filled with productivity. So anywho, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.